We've recently released Vaadin 14 LTS that came out end of last year, and it's continued to close the gap towards Vaadin 7 and 8 for customers that have been with us uh, for some time. Things like preserve on refresh, simplifying styling of applications, components, generic drag and drop support, including uh, support for grid rows, new components have all been added. Um, and Ben will highlight a couple more uh, later on today. But if you want to see a full overview of what is in Vaadin 14, you can always visit our release pages, vaadin.com slash releases slash vaadin-14. And you can find uh, code snippets as well as animated GIFs that, that surface the new functionality that we've in introduced. Um, and all later versions will be updated there as well, so you can keep track on, on how the platform is evolving. I want to shortly remind you of what a long-term supported version is. So Vaadin 14 LTS is supported for five years, but we offer an option to extend that to 15 years with Enterprise. A lot of our customers are building business-critical applications on top of Vaadin, and their life cycles are longer than five years. And so we're proud to be one of the only frameworks providing this extent of support, allowing enterprises to move forward at their own pace whenever they have uh, the budget and the need to shift over and do migration projects. The majority of the features that we introduced to Vaadin will be coming to Vaadin 14. And so this version will be evolved functionally significantly over the years to come. These releases are backwards compatible, so staying up to date is, is very easy. Um, and in fact, the Vaadin 14.2 beta just came out last week, and we're expecting the final to come out in the next couple of weeks. So please keep your eyes open and provide us any feedback you have uh, to this latest version. But the, what I'm talking about today mainly is the key investment areas that we have and how that translates into our roadmap. Um, Jana spoke about the trends, and our investments are aligned with those. So one, we want to make sure that every Vaadin application is a progressive web application. We want to continue to invest in framework agnostic components. We will bridge the gap between designers and developers with design systems, but of course also add power to developers, build great looking interfaces by using the consistency and the high quality of user experience that design systems enable. And we're going to help business applications go collaborative, enabling end customers to be far more productive than they were previously. If we look at the first one, just to kind of recap, so web is becoming far more native-like, installable, offline, very snappy and fast. We believe this will lead to a renaissance in web application development, in particular in the mobile space. There's been a strong push for mobile native investments over the last decade or so. We believe that investment now becomes completely unnecessary. Uh, so shifting to a single code base, uh, deploying to web or onto desktop as well as onto mobile becomes a lot easier. And in particular, in the business environment, we don't see any need for customers to be wasting investments with multiple investment streams and applications. With v15, we continue to build on this, enabling stateless client-side views for faster interface as well as supporting offline experiences. Um, but we continue to support this alongside our Java a UI model. And so Java and front-end code can sit side by side in harmony with each other. The second investment area, framework agnostic components. And so we're building on web component standard, which is future-proof, supported by all evergreen browsers. But we find most excitedly that this is something that allows our customers to forward port their investments. So if you invest in a design system based on web components or in web components in general, this investment can continue to be relevant for you and your company for many years to come. You can take that investment along into the future rather than having being stuck with a framework that you're working with today. And so that provides a lot of strategic flexibility for your organization. We continue to invest in supporting data intensive applications. A large chunk of new charts will be coming out shortly, and I'll talk about those in a second. We'll be moving on the back behind the scenes to Lit Element, enables a smaller bundle size and higher performance but that change should by and large be transparent for you as customers. We also believe that there's no need for you to reinvent the wheel and for you to kind of continuously invent components that dozens and dozens of other companies are building as well. And so working with a partner like ourselves, we believe there's a lot of benefits and productivity that your teams uh, can benefit from by using already battle-tested components that have been used in many applications and continue to evolve based on the feedback our customers give us towards these applications. 
Third area, bridging the gap between designers and developers with a design system. So as mentioned, we'll be publishing something we call a base design system, and that should basically provide a foundation for any company to take on and to use in order to improve the quality of the applications and the experiences that they're building. But more importantly, we intend to make this something that you can take ownership of. Um, so tooling that allows you to extend it, keep it up to date with the latest components, adjust it to your brand, change the theming, add your own components and documentation. So whatever you need to do, we're gonna make that really easy so that your organization can adopt a design system and that can easily be used across multiple teams to align the interfaces and the experiences you provide to your customers. And finally, collaborative. So we believe the future of business applications will be collaborative, led by applications like Google Docs and Slack. Customers will come to expect this functionality. And as Johannes indicated, we believe that great user experience will lead to differentiation and driving the winners in all market segments. We believe collaboration is going to be one of those user experience areas that's going to drive differentiation and better experiences for end users. And that will eventually lead to customers favoring those solutions that provide them these capabilities. We believe a lot of this functionality is common across applications. So enabling commenting of a field or mm -hmm. adding a chat box or adding a notification center. These are not unique use cases for any application out there. And so we don't see any need for customers to build these things themselves, rather working with a partner that's building these out, saving you the time and effort, but also allowing you to embrace learnings that companies like ourselves get from having many, many customers using these components, allows you to make sure that you're building on the best user experience you possibly can. If we look at the roadmap, we have, in essence, two trajectories. So as mentioned, we have 14.x, which is our LTS release. 14.2 is coming out shortly, and it will be followed by 14.3, 14.4, 14.5, and it'll keep getting new functionality and new features. And this version is always supported for 15 years, and so very strong, stable foundation for you to build your business on top of. In parallel, we're releasing VOD in 15, 16, and 17. As these are introducing the uh, front-end development model, we're still doing a lot of adjustments to meet customers' uh, feedback. And so between 15, 16, and 17, for the new model in particular, there are going to be more breaking changes. And so 14 is a stable platform for you to kind of target. But if you see benefits from embracing um, offline views, the ability to create front-end views for your application, then 16 and 17 is a way for you to kind of stay on top of the latest developments and to provide your feedback so that our features meet your needs. Good to note that all major features are coming both to the 14 series as well as the 16 series. For example, what comes out in 16, right to left support, will also be available in 14.3 as we support new data provider or abstract form in, say, 14.4 or 14.5. These will also be available in 17. And so whichever path you choose, um, you will gain access to the latest features that we're introducing. And so the choice really should be whether you have a need to stay on top of the client-centric development model or not. And the 16 version and 17 versions, these are all building towards the next LTS that should eventually land once we feel it's a stable and a solid foundation that we can support for another 15 years. Now, there's a lot of features that we're introducing over the year to come. I'll pick three here to surface. But as mentioned, if you see items here that you're interested to hear more of or that you'd like to have introduced to your team, please do reach out to us. We're more than happy to hear your feedback on where we're taking our product to help shape that direction but also to help share with your team so that they're aware of how Vaadin is evolving. The three items I'll, I'll pick out from here is one, extending Vaadin applications with client-side views, talking shortly about the design system baseline, as well as introducing an overview of the many new charts that we're planning to release in the upcoming versions. So extending Vaadin applications with client-side views. As you know, Vaadin has enabled customers build their interfaces in Java for a long time right now. And Vaadin 14, as well as 15, that continues to be our recommended model. This is the way that you should be building your applications. But we're adding an additional feature um, that allows adding optionally TypeScript views to your application. So this is only for those parts of the experience where you see the need. Of course, 
If you want to build an application fully in TypeScript, that's also possible. But I want to emphasize that it's optional. And our recommended model continues to be building your interface with Java. Also good to note is that whatever you're building today with Vaadin 14 is forwards compatible uh, with this model. And so the code that you're building your application on today is continues to work as you move into this new model. And so again, it only provides optional capabilities to your organization, to your team, to build different types of experiences and to gain more control over the experience uh, when it would be, for example, offline. The design system, second major area that we're quite excited about bringing to market. And so you should start seeing the first glimpses of that over the months to come. Our Vaadin design system will contain best practice guidelines for components and theming. So how should you use them most effectively? It will contain UI patterns for common use cases. We have a large number of customers and we learn a lot from them. We have a lot of service projects where we build applications for our customers. And so we learn a lot from those as well. And so what we're doing is we're going to incorporate the learnings from building applications for healthcare or finance or insurance organizations and bring those back into our design system so that you can learn from what we're learning as well. We're going to be introducing a Figma library. So this is a tool that integrates into Figma, a very popular designer tool for mocking up interfaces. And that will contain the exact same components that your developers are using to build applications with Vaadin. And so that should allow whatever designs come from the designers to be very quickly buildable with Vaadin. And that should improve the productivity of your organization and eliminate a lot of the friction between a designer having a view that's very hard to implement and the developer being confronted with a lot more discussion and education of the designers as to what is possible and what isn't. But more importantly, we believe that this should be a foundation that you can adopt in your organization. And so we will build tools that allow you to adopt that. And we will make it very easy for you to add your specific documentation, your own components to this design system so that it feels like your own feels relevant to your applications and your development teams. And then finally, very excited with a new drop of charts that we're introducing over the months to come. Many different chart types are coming, a, a small selection you can see here on the right side. But additionally, we're going to be supporting features like PDF generation, as well as providing more powerful set of APIs for Java theming. And so this is something we're going to be sending out a survey to our customers shortly for them to answer that survey and tell us which of these charts do you see as most useful and that will drive the order in which we bring these to market. And so if you have a need for some of the items you see here, please do reach out. We're very keen to hear where you would like to see us take our sets of charts. We have a group which we call Vaadin Insiders. These are a set of customers that are interested in shaping future investments made by Vaadin, and it's available for select Vaadin community members like yourself. What's in it for you? You get a named contact in our product team. You have direct and regular access to. You have the ability to steer the direction where we take our product, prioritizements of improvements. What it means for you is that we'd invite you to interviews, demo sessions. We'd ask you to fill out surveys or join webinars. We don't believe there'll be more than one to two requests per quarter. And so if you're interested in some of the things we're working on, it's also an option for you to be an early adopter of these key features so you can help guide metroization as well as improvements made to core functionality. And so if you're interested in this, please reach out to myself or to your account executive. We'd be more than happy to hear from you.